Guys, this weekend's project is a really special one. I get the opportunity to renovate a kitchen for a first time homeowner. Owning your first home is always exciting, but Georgette has a really cool and unique story, so I'm gonna let her tell it to you. I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This is unbelievable. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Hey, I'm Georgette, and I'm the first woman in my family to own a home, and I love it. I grew up in an apartment, I grew up in the projects. I never felt at home in an apartment because I knew it wasn't mine. The fact that I did it by myself has taught me so much about myself and so much about being resilient. When you're a single woman, people expect you to do something like own a home only when you're married. You know, no, if you want to buy a home, you can buy a home as a single woman. Now, I may have bought this home on my own and Miss Independent, but when it comes to my kitchen, I need help, <laughs> like today. <laughs> so here's my kitchen. Awesome. And as you can see, it's kind of really small. Yeah, but it has like everything you need in here. It has great potential and really good bones. It's, it's so important for me to have this, my first home, because it's, it's mine. I lived in apartments pretty much all my life, and I can come here and be myself. And I just want it to feel inviting. Also, I would love to see more space for my pots and pans, because when you don't have enough space, they get like cluttered together. And um, also some color. And I like modern appliances, and I like that whole sleek look, but I like the mix of both the traditional and the modern. Not the type of modern yeah. that's like cold and stark. No, no. You still want to have that warmth and coziness to it. Absolutely. So we want function and style. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Doing a kitchen in two days is a really tall order. Yes. I'll be honest. Yes. But I have kind of five main projects that I okay. think are really going to change up the okay. space. Well, we have a lot of surprises for you in the next oh, two days, cool. so cool. we have a lot to get started on. All right, you awesome. Ready? Let's go. All right. This kitchen has a lot of potential, and though she's small, she's mighty. I love that Georgette is so excited about her first home and sees all the potential that this space has. I mean, we're totally on the same page with that. I think that we can really transform this kitchen into exactly what Georgette has in mind. All right, we got everything cleared out of okay. here. We're gonna jump into the first big project. Awesome, awesome, ready. And so we're actually gonna paint your kitchen cabinets. Ready to see the color? Yes. All right. Oh, that's nice. This is kind of more of our traditional element in the okay. room. And then when we pair it with the fabulous backsplash I have in mind, you're gonna see how well it works together. Paint is one of the easiest ways to make a huge dramatic impact in a space. Before painting cabinets, be sure to give them a light sanding to ensure a smooth surface for the paint to adhere. This soft green color has a traditional feel that will balance out the more modern elements in the space. While Georgette continues to paint the cabinets, I'm tackling the walls in the breakfast nook. I've chosen a light gray paint which will add just a hint of color without making the kitchen feel dark and heavy, and it will complement the green cabinetry perfectly. first coat of paint is looking good. Wow, it is. Happy with it so far? I like it. All right, so we talked about how the cabinet paint color was going to be kind of our traditional element, okay. and how the tile backsplash was going to be a little bit of a modern okay. element. Okay. Are you ready to see yes, it? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What do you think? I like that. So I went with a definitely more modern mm -hmm. tile, and it has some of the traditional colors like the cabinet, but then it has like sleek glass, like the that. shape is really different. I like the <laughs> texture. Okay. I, I guess I'm gonna be touching it. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. No, come, I touch. Come touch, touch. the tile. We're applying a pre-mixed mastic adhesive directly over the laminate that's securely attached to the walls. It's the perfect base to work off of. All right, and now comes the fun part. We can actually install the tile. Yes. Everything about this tile screams modern. The multi-tone glass, the thin, sleek mosaic pattern, but it'll work great with the cabinets because of the cool blue-green color palette. We're starting off our Sunday with a simple build project that'll be the foundation for the new eating area.
This is the last project I'm gonna let you help me with today. Okay. okay. I wanna save some surprises, but I do want your help with this first project. Okay. So what I'm building here is the base for what's going to be your new bench seat in your oh, breakfast nook. Oh, a bench. Okay. <laughs> I think a bench is gonna be the best option. We're mm -hmm. gonna build it in an L shape, so okay. there'll be two sides, but I need your help building the first one. No problem. Okay. This is basically the toe kick that the bench will sit on. Okay. Right? So I got started on that, but I'm gonna need kind of two sets of hands to do the rest of the Not building. a problem. Okay, let's build it. We're using plywood and creating a large rectangular box, then adding support dividers that create little cubes that are the perfect size for some storage bins that I'll add later. Storage plus style makes this the perfect seating option for this kitchen. When you're working in a space that has kind of a tight, smaller footprint, sometimes even just adding artwork that would come off the walls isn't a great option. Anything that would pop off the wall would kind of impede the space of the kitchen. So instead, a great solution is to use vinyl artwork. It actually presses directly onto the wall. It won't take up any space, but it's gonna look really fabulous. Georgette has a goal of traveling to 50 countries in the next two years. She's already crossed a bunch off her list. I'm surprising her with a vinyl world map wall decal where she can keep track of all of her trips. It's easy to apply and adds another fun modern element to the room. working with you just for yes. one weekend. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, 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 this is not my kitchen. Oh my God. This can't be my kitchen. This is, this is, I, there's no words to describe this. I. Never in a million, I swear, never in a million years I would ever think this could ever be something like for me. I'm blown completely, totally away, away. It just Whatever I thought this was going to be, not only did you exceed it, you went up there, you slapped it around, and you brought it back down. <laughs> God. Doesn't the tile look great? I mean, and you saw a little bit of it going, going up. up. New hardware on the cabinets you helped it me just, paint. It's inviting, it's warm, it's, I've never had anything like this ever happen to me. I was so happy to do this with you, because honestly, you're like an encouragement to me. Oh, like, you, you have done so much, thank and you. just are such an empowering person. So, this is a pleasure for me to work on. Monica, girl, I am floored. <laughs> This weekend, I'm switching it up a bit and focusing completely on my master bathroom. It needs a transformation. All I want is one tiny little area that I can brush my teeth in without having to move the hair dryer or the hair straightener or <laughs> the hair curler or some other electronic hair device. Are you loving The Weekender? Be sure to catch all 10 episodes by subscribing to the Lowe's channel on YouTube and download the Lowe's TV app for all your streaming devices. For project details, step-by-step -step guides for every episode, visit lowes.com slash The Weekender. Thanks, guys.